Hey, what's up guys? Just coming back with another video. Wanted to show you a little bit of Columbia at night. This is like the weekend and actually it's pretty quiet in the neighborhood. Normally there's some music sometimes. It's really loud, depends on uh, where, uh, where it's coming from because um, behind this forest here, I'll give you a view. Behind this forest is a little river and across is another neighborhood. I'm not gonna <laughs> show a lot. If you remember the avocado video, somehow this tree like is just died. I think my wife was, she just basically asked God to make it go away because of the people that were climbing up to take the avocados. I think we're gonna have to get that cut down. And I wanted to bring you the next video which is about the digital nomad visa. So here we go, guys. This is about the digital nomad visa that's gonna start in October for Colombia. And it reads as this, for conditions and requirements, foreign citizens employed outside Colombia will be able to live and work in Colombia using a new visa called the digital nomad visa for up to two years. The visa will also be available to individuals who want to start a digital technology business in Colombia. Digital nomad visa holders will not be allowed to engage in local paid employment for, or work for an employer in Colombia. Bank documents should prove the applicant earns a monthly salary of at least three, min three minimum legal salaries, which is $685 um, United States dollar, a letter, a letter written in Spanish or English from one or more international companies the applicant works for is required. The applicant must show proof of health insurance that covers accidents, sickness, maternity, disabilities, hospitalization, death, or repatriation during the time they plan to stay in the country. I have no idea what repatriation is, but if you guys know that, leave it in the comments. You know those uh, the few that are are definitely leaving comments. I really uh, appreciate you, and it's always good to talk to you. So if anybody knows that or wants to look it up, I might look it up and post it later. Uh, the other thing, it says the applicant's passport must be valid for at least six months from the date of application. Currently, there is no minimum validity period for the passport. So you um, have it there, guys. And that is the requirements for the new uh, digital nomad visa. It does say once uh, Petro takes office, there might be some adjustments and stuff like that. So keep your, your eyes and your ears open. I'm going to keep uh, following this and see if anything is better or not. There is definitely other changes to the visa process. Um, I might talk about that later, but now I just wanted to report this because I really don't see much about it. Also, guys, wanted to just tell you kind of how the Spanish immersion uh, thing is is um, Spanish immersion is is really difficult to be honest. Spanish immersion um, for people who might want to use a visa and live in Colombia depends on the part. You either gonna not run into people who speak English at all, or you're gonna be in a place where um, where they're starting to speak a little more. My experience with Spanish immersion is I have not ran into basically anybody who speaks English in Ibagué. So I've been here a little over a year and um, been learning Spanish for a little more than two years. And there's different parts of fluency for Spanish and there's speaking, there's being able to understand, there's writing, there is, um, there's reading. And so it is definitely something you have to practice. And if you really go hard for like three months, you'll be able to speak a little bit, understanding um, there's things that you learn uh, in English, like, um, well, you learn how to say like, como estas, but in, in Colombia, they have 10 different ways of saying, how are you? And uh, it's like, uh, como le fue, que mas? Que tal? It's, it's so many different things. Como sigue? It keeps going. So being here, I'm learning some of the Colombian ways and uh, how they talk and stuff like that. Um, being here a year, I'm, I kind of can figure out some things 
but really I understand my wife really good and the family is starting to understand me better. I'm starting to understand them, but it is a process. It is a process. I still practice. I try to practice at least 15 minutes, 30 minutes a day. And uh, yeah, about a year here, uh, putting in some work and stuff. I'm, I mean, it's, it's better, but I, I can probably see see myself basically what I would call maybe fluent in like three or four years at this pace <laughs> because it's still people when they say questions really fast or, or something like that, it's just like, huh? <laughs> and and I'm, I'm like, okay, but when, when somebody in Colombia doesn't understand it, like, como? But, Ha, ah, just wanted to give you guys a little update on that, on the things that uh, you could be doing uh, to, to help the Spanish before you get here, take advantage of that digital visa, or if you're coming to stay, I see a lot of people just saying, oh, I'm just gonna move here and, and stuff like that, and no, it's not that easy, so. Um, but we're gonna keep on uh, bringing you some stuff. You might see that the wife is not really in the videos much anymore. I'm pretty much gonna take the channel and do what I can with it. And I still have some ideas, guys, so appreciate the comments, appreciate the feedback, and uh, we're gonna keep on uh, doing this for as long as we can. And uh, see, we're, we're far from monetization, but uh, I, I, I like doing this. I can't say I, how long I can keep doing this because you know you, you need to make some income doing certain things. But I hope it's uh, like the, um, one of my people said that it's inspiring. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's Rod Westbrook, we, we got a lot of people, um, <laughs> one of my, my favorite uh, names out there, uh, cinema rolls every day. Um, got a guy, uh, he's a really good guy, he wants to move here from Australia, and uh, so yeah, we're just going to keep on uh, seeing uh, what content we can put out until we, we get that magical video that makes like a million views and gets us some money so we can keep on going. But I uh, <laughs> wish we'll think it. But alright guys, take care, God bless.